Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a woman is heterozygous for an X-link recessive allele that causes night blindness. If she marries a man with night blindness, what proportions of the female and male offspring will carry the night blindness allele? And you have to choose one of these answers. Let's analyze our problem. A woman is heterozygous for X-link recessive allele. So let's put her genotype here on the side of the Punnett square and this X chromosome would be normal and another chromosome would be abnormal so we would show it with red color and the man she marries a man with night blindness so this is X-link recessive genetic disorder but because males has only one X chromosome they are going to be affected with this genetic disorder because they just don't have another uh, X chromosome to offset the uh, effect of this recessive allele. So let's build simple Punnett square and let's take a look at the progeny, genotypes and phenotypes. So this female would inherit one normal X chromosome from the mother side and defective X chromosome from the father side. This male would inherit one normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. This female would inherit defective X chromosome from the mother side and defective X chromosome from the father side. And as for this male, he is going to inherit defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. Take a look. Here is going to be male progeny and here is going to be female progeny. And 50% of the male progeny are going to be phenotypically normal. But 50% is going to be affected with this genetic disorder. 50% of the female progeny, those being carriers, but would be phenotypically normal because this is x link recessive genetic disorder and they have one normal X chromosome but 50% of the female progeny would be affected with this genetic disorder. Now if you think that the correct answer is going to be C, half of the female and half of the male progeny are going to be affected, just pay attention to our question. And the question is what proportion of the female and male offspring will carry this allele and take a look again 100% of the female progeny would have this allele and 50% of the male progeny would have this allele. The question is not about who is going to be affected but who is just going to have this allele. So the correct answer is going to be B. All of the female progeny would have this allele and half of the male progeny would have this allele. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.